fellow dog fanciers, how are you doing? I hope you're doing very well. Um, it might be looking like I'm sitting weird, but Ivy is here in my video for the first time in like forever and I would be a very bad Whippet owner if I destroy her comfort. So for the time being, I'm going to be uh, squeezing myself here kind of in the middle of the frame. Today we're going to talk about the never-ending drama of nail clipping or to be more precise, toe cutting because let's be honest, that's how they see it. If it would depend on most dogs, they would be lying in mud, uh, they would be fed treats all day and they would be allowed to destroy and do whatever they want. And nail clipping is not on their list of favorite things. And if it was up to them, they would never have to go through this horrible act of cruelty. And whippets are even more dramatic because all whippet owners know that they make their emotions very well known all the time. And if you don't have a whippet yet and you're planning to get one, you will find that out soon enough. So unfortunately, we cannot sit down with our dogs and explain to them that uh, cutting their nails is good for them, that they will walk better and that they will feel more comfortable. So we have to find methods that make nail clipping a little bit easier for us and our dogs. So in this video I will show you how some of my whippets behave when they're having their nails clipped and I will give you some tips and tricks that you may or may not have heard of. Let's get into the video. So we have 7 whippets, meaning 126 nails that need to be clipped. Jamie, Ruby and Ivy usually get their nails done once a week because they tend to grow a little bit faster and the adult part of the pack have their nails done approximately once every two weeks and sometimes more often than that. So you would assume that they're very used to it. I wish. Some tolerate it and I don't need an extra hand to hold them while I'm clipping their nails. Others dramatize and then we have some like Jamie. Jamie acts like she's very unapproachable. And then I just show her the good stuff. That's treats, what did you think of? And that's how we make a deal. I usually leave her for last because she is so easy. So this is one trick you can try. Distracting them with treats, peanut butter or a chew toy. It may or may not work for all dogs, but you will never know until you try. Next up on the drama queen leather we have Ivy. Clipping her nails is the worst thing that you can ever do to her after not feeding her treats at 3am of course. And food will not buy her, but for the sake of showing you, I tried. The moment she sees me holding the clippers, she is out of the chat. So we go back and forth, I explain to her that I'm not clipping her toes, but just the tip of her nail, but she will not believe me. If someone else holds her for me, she will not fight us and I'm usually done with her nails in less than a minute. Ruby used to enter a full-blown panic mode up until six months ago and to be honest I didn't do anything special to help that but from one nail clipping to the next she took it just fine. I have no idea what happened and what changed her opinion. This is the first time I attempted to bribe her with treats. I was not sure if it was going to work, but to my surprise, I managed to clip all the nails on her hind legs. And when we got to the front feet, oh my, someone called the animal police. So for the front feet, I got someone to hold her, but I was very pleasantly surprised how well she behaved uh, for the hind feet with just a few treats. So I'm going to keep on doing that and hopefully at some point uh, it's going to be easy to close a deal with her as it is with Jamie. 
So here is another tip. If you have a family member that can hold the dog for you, that would be really great as a starter and that other person can feed the dog a treat for every clipped nail. But if you don't have such a person, then you can do little by little and take baby steps. And for every cut nail, praise them and give them treats like it's the best thing that has ever happened. Hopefully like this, with time they will accept that this is something that is okay and they can tolerate it for just a minute. The adult part of the pack kind of tolerates nail clipping, however Cooper is the only one who can get his nail uh, cut without anyone else holding him. The rest will sometimes act like they have never seen a nail clipper before and usually I will need an extra hand to hold them so that I'm done with the nails faster. But I couldn't film that because my camera died. Right, so that was it for Ivy's glorious participation in this video. Hopefully she will be willing to come back like in a 10 videos time or something. Now off to some more practical tips. Do not get angry at your dog. I know it can be frustrating at times because what's the big deal is just nail cutting. But imagine someone wants to do something to you that you really don't like and they also cannot explain what's the benefit of it. You would not be very pleased either. Dogs should be allowed to not like certain things and to have moods. So be patient, encouraging and understanding to help them to at least tolerate it better. When it comes to the technical part of nail clipping, here is a good picture of how far to cut and what to avoid. And it is always better to stand in front of a direct light source so that you can see the nail and all parts of it better. If you happen to cut the nail too short and it starts to bleed, do not panic, do not beat yourself up, it happens and it's not the end of the world. Take a napkin and put pressure on the nail. If that doesn't stop the bleeding, you can apply some blood stopping powder. If you don't have that, apply cornstarch or some plain flour. This will stop the bleeding within seconds. By the way, no one had a bleeding nail in this video, but I had to make a demonstration. Another important thing is make sure that you have good quality sharp clippers because I've bought some clippers in the past that were absolute garbage and instead of cutting the nail clean, they were squeezing the nail, breaking it to pieces, creating an even worse experience for the dog. When you have the clipper around the nail, exactly where you're going to cut, just snap it at once because I've seen people aiming at where they're going to clip and then really squeezing the nail before they actually cut it. So just aim and snap it at once because holding it there and squeezing the nail for too long will create a very unpleasant experience for the dog. An alternative to clippers is a Dremel. Some dogs tolerate it better because they find it less uncomfortable, but others really hate it because of the noise and the sensation, or because of both, or if we could just leave their nails alone forever, that would be best. In general, a Dremel is safer because you can control exactly how much you take off the nail at a time and you have to try really hard to cause some actual damage. It is preferred for dogs with more massive nails that are more difficult to cut or for dogs with darker nails where the quick is not visible. You do, however, have to hold it to the nail for no longer than two seconds at most because otherwise it will create a burning sensation which will be very uncomfortable to your dog. It also takes longer to get nails done this way compared to clippers, but if your dog finds it less stressful, by all means, sacrifice a little bit extra of your time for the sake of your dog's comfort. It takes some dogs longer to get used to a Dremel, so take the same baby step approach and... <coughs> oh, excuse me. So take the same baby step rewarding approach and it might be very worth it at the end. 
I have yet to see a dog that gets super excited when you walk towards them with a Dremel or a clipper in your hand. It's not their favorite thing, it probably never will be, but if they learn to tolerate it for a few minutes, every one or two weeks, uh, that would be enough. It will make your life easier and theirs as well. Just try out various methods and hold on to whatever works best. After all, dogs are their own individuals, just as people, so one thing might work for one dog and not for another and vice versa, so it's a matter of trial and error, a lot of patience and baby steps. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you recognize some of the behaviors that you saw in, in the video and the struggles, uh, now you know that you're not alone and you have nothing to worry about. Nail clipping is a struggle for both pets and their owners and we have to find something that helps us go through it easier and helps our dogs of course, mainly our dogs. So let me know in the comment section how does nail clipping go for you and your dogs and share your experience and share some tips and tricks if you have them. Last week one of my wonderful subscribers shared in a comment that they have taught their dog to uh, scratch a board and that's how they keep their nails short. So this is actually a wonderful tip. This is also something that you can look into. So for that reason the comment section is very helpful. Do not hesitate to leave a comment, share how you feel, ask a question, give a tip, advice, whatever it is. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so yet. So have a wonderful weekend as always and an easier, very chill week after that and I will see you next Friday with a new video. Bye bye!